The Aquila is a budget 3D printer from Voxel Lab. And upon first glance, you might mistake it for the Ender 3 V2. That is, until you look at the price. This machine is 100 US dollars cheaper than the Ender 3 V2 and is almost identical in all ways except the orientation of the screen. It has a build volume of 220 on the X and Y and 250 on the Z. It has a full color screen with a click wheel encoder and a UI that is very simple and easy to use, but includes all the advanced options you need for tuning your machine. It has power loss detection and resume functionality and runs a 32-bit board. Let's take a closer look at that. It has silent stepper drivers here that are soldered right to the board, which is not a big deal unless one of these happens to fail during the lifespan of the machine. It has a single Z-axis lead screw and pretty standard extruder. They did supply an extra compression fitting and some locks, which is nice. The bed is coated glass and releases parts easily once cooled, and there's belt tensioning knobs on both the X and Y axis. Let's take a closer look at the hot end assembly. A single screw and some tabs hold it in place, and inside we find a pretty standard hot end, similar to what's shipped on Creality printers. It has a parts cooling blower fan and a dedicated hot end heatsink fan. So why is it so much cheaper? The only area I could see any sort of price cut is in the fact that the machine comes in quite a few parts. This level of assembly is something that might be daunting for someone's first 3D printer, but this is offset by the parts being clearly labeled and the assembly instructions being very well documented. I managed to assemble this printer in about 30 minutes with a little help from my coworker. After I adjusted the V-slot wheels with the included wrench and leveled the bed with a piece of paper, I queued up one of the pre-sliced files from the SD card. Here's the print quality I achieved right out of the box with no tuning. Pretty good. All I did to tune was bump my steps per millimeter on the E-axis up by one to avoid this gap in the top layer solid infill. As you saw from the time-lapse portion of this video, the print quality is excellent and competes with printers with much higher price tags. In my conclusion, I think this 3D printer is a hidden gem, and if you can grab it at the price of $179, it's an absolute steal. Big thanks to Voxelab for providing this machine in exchange for an honest review. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check this machine out. If you're interested in more 3D printing content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and happy printing.